candidate, radio host, Curtis Lula, former Obama administration official, Jose Aristomuno is with us. Uh, Jose, good to see you. Uh, uh, let me ask Thank you a question. You, well, you believe we should be a nation of laws, right? Of course. Okay, and it's not, it, we call people illegal immigrants because they don't respect our laws and our borders and our sovereignty, right? Undocumented, you know, illegal, everybody has uh, got but, their but, own but, choice, but, but, but yeah, they're but, undocumented. I'm asking, if people enter this country without permission and go on through the proper legal process, they are entering the country illegally and breaking the law, is that not right? I think we're a compassionate country, Sean, you know that, I didn't and I think so. undocumented is a better term, but, that's not, Jose, but Jose, that's not the issue. Jose, hold on, I'm asking a simple question. <laughs> We're a nation of laws, and when people do not obey the law and they come into our country, they have broken our laws. Right or wrong, sir? Yeah. That's why, Sean, there's been record apprehensions at the border. There's I didn't been ask you that. There's been record apprehensions at the border Did every they, single day. Jose, now you're beginning to piss off my audience. <laughs> did, did they break the law? Yes or they, no? They broke the laws and their rules. They broke the law and their they rules the that they should abide All by. All that hard work, it was like pulling teeth. Thank you for finally answering. <laughs> Curtis, the mayor <laughs> was proud of his sanctuary. You ran against them. By yeah. the way, they wouldn't be here if you were mayor. That's right. Um, uh, last August, remember, he met the first bus with his $5,000 swagger style suit <laughs> and his entourage. He were giving them all swag bags. And he demeaned Governor Abbott, who said, look, I'm overwhelmed in Texas. I have to send them to you because you are a sanctuary city. What did Eric Adams do? He called Abbott a racist. Abbott said, come down to the border, see. I want to stand with a Democrat. We can approach Washington and say you have to resolve this, President Joe Biden. And he wouldn't do it. And now all of a sudden he's saying no mas, no mas. I can give you the inside skinny of what happened at that meeting at City Hall today. I want to know. The Biden administration is telling Eric Adams Hold off until the presidential election, and we will write you a big check. They're so sure that Joe Biden's going to become the next president of the United States. And Adams is playing along. Notice Schumer's quiet. He's playing along. Hakeem Jeffries, who in the future may be a speaker, he's playing along. This is all a game, Sean. AOC, your favorite, is playing along. Okay, AOC, all out crazy, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, <laughs> leader of the Socialists of America, who are saying, Andale, Andale, come on, all illegals, come on in. She's with the checkerboard flag of the Indianapolis 500. Oh, man. You know, Jose, here's the thing. You are supporting a president and policies that are impacting the American people and their wallets. And they and because they have to pay for food and housing and clothing and education and health care for illegal immigrants. Joe Biden, by the end of this year, the number might be as high as eight million illegal immigrants he's left in. You explain to the American people why that is justified, why you support aiding and abetting uh, law breaking and you support a president that is aiding and abetting law breaking. You tell me why. Look, uh, Sean, the first day that Joe Biden became president, he put forth an immigration reform bill. He sent it to Congress. It, Congress it, has not acted. Pass. So we need Congress that was not to act. my question. I, I, let me just that, say, let me no, finish. No, no, let me that finish. That didn't pass. Why are you supporting a president aiding and abetting law breaking? Why don't you stand this, on the rule of law? This president, this president, this president has apprehended a record number of migrants. Number one, he's putting forward everything he can do when it comes to parole system to make sure that people are here legally. And uh, look, and let me not just By get started way, on the you economy. Know what you are, Inflation down you to three percent. Thirteen million aid, jobs. The aiding and abetting of law breaking. Now, if we had a real justice department, they might investigate you, but we don't. Thank you, Jose. Curtis, great to see you. Up next, Kamala Harris.